So question 4b, okay, we got y minus 15 over y equals 2, and <clears throat> I guess the way that uh, most people like to solve this is multiplying by the lowest common denominator. Now the lowest common denominator for this guy is what? Well, we have fractions here actually, because y can be written as y over one, and two can be written as two over one. Okay, the lowest common denominator is y, right? So if I multiply everything by y, then I'll be able to get rid of the fractions, and then I can just solve the equation. So I'm going to multiply everything by y, or or actually y over one, right? Right. So y over 1 times y over 1, that's just y times y, that's just y squared, right, minus, and then when I multiply this guy by y over 1, these y's cross cancel, right, so I just get minus 15 equals 2 over 1 times y over 1, or just, you know, 2y, right, and now we can solve this, so this is an equation, it has an equal sign, the highest power in the equation is a squared, therefore it's a quadratic equation. There's only one variable which is y, so we've got to solve for y, right? So to, to solve a quadratic equation, we need to get 0 on one side, and then factorize, okay? And then do, if, two th if the two things multiply to give 0, one of them must be 0, right? So we'll do that. We subtract 2y from both sides. We get y squared minus 2y minus 15 equals 0. Now we need to factorize, okay? Now to factorize this, this again is a trinomial with 1 as the leading coefficient. So it's, a, it's, it's what I call a short method. So you take the 15 and you go 1 times 15 gives 15. 2 doesn't go in there, but 3 times 5 gives 15. Okay, and now we use this to try and find two numbers that multiply to negative 15 and add to negative 2. Can you think of two numbers? What two numbers multiply to negative 15 and add to negative 2? Well, let's try negative 5 and positive 3. Do they work? If you multiply them, you get negative 15. If you add them together, you get negative 2. So they work. Let me show you what doesn't work. Positive 5 and negative 3. See, if you multiply these guys, you get negative 15. But what happens when you add them together? When you add them together, you get positive 2. So they do not work, and that's why. Okay? So it's y minus 5 times y plus 3 equals 0. Right? And as we've discussed earlier, now we have this thing where, where this guy times this guy equals 0. I, 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 I say it this way. I say, like, if a times b equals 0, then either a is 0 or b is 0. Doesn't that make sense? If these two things multiply give 0, one of them has to be 0. So either the y minus 5 is 0 or the y plus 3 is 0. You've probably done this before. And then you solve each equation for y. Add 5 to both sides. y equals 5. Subtract 3 from both sides. y equals negative 3. Okay? So y is 5 or negative 3. Right? And, um, of course, what we could have, should have said at the bottom was because we have a y at the bottom of the equation, and we're not allowed to divide by zero, that y can't be zero. So we've got to specify that y can't be zero. And we found y is either five or negative three, so that's fine anyway. It doesn't doesn't really matter that, about that. But you just gotta watch out for that in case your your solution turns out to be what it shouldn't be when you when you put it back in the equation. Okay?